Kampung Melayu Pulau tentulah bukan satu-satunya kampung di Jakarta yang dipenuhi haji dan pemabuk sekaligus. Tapi sangat mungkin hanya di sinilah dua pemadu, pemuda mabuk dan seorang haji bisa duduk di balai-balai yang sama dalam sebuah majelis taklim. Sesungguhnya kata ini tak tepat menggambarkan kegiatan yang sebenarnya. Sebab meski sesekali sang haji menyampaikan khutbah dan membahas hikmah, majelis itu lebih sering jadi ajang bincang santai tentang banyak hal. Tempat orang bertukar kata dan canda hingga larut malam. Tapi sampai akhir kisah ini nanti, kegiatan ini akan tetap disebut demikian semata-mata demi memudahkan penceritaan. My name is Ben Sohib. I come from Indonesia. Um, I write uh, fiction and non-fiction, uh, like uh, novels, short stories, and uh, essays. The best things for me is um, Indonesia is very uh, uh, complex uh, country. I mean, so we have a lot of uh, ethnicity and religions, and we are like uh, a country that's still developing. So we are facing a lot of things to to reach uh, some certain level, uh, and then because of that, so many things happen. And so most of my work is uh, dealing with this, with this uh, religion tension, ethnicity tension. So I feel like I have a lot of, of, of uh, inspiration to write. Uh, the worst thing is for me is um, I think the uh, a reading habit is not uh, really, really uh, uh, good in, in Indonesia. Uh, the best thing is, uh, well, I feel that Indonesia is a very um, lovely community. A lot of uh, inspiration to, to have in Indonesia, yeah. Yeah, this in my case actually is a bit unique case. Uh, my educational background actually, I'm could say that I'm only a uh, graduate from high school <laughs> because I <coughs> went to like a literary uh, faculty only for a month, then I retreat and then I, I jumped to journalism for a few uh, semesters and I retreat. So actually I don't have any uh, uh, educational background uh, in terms of what I'm uh, doing now in writing. So. Mostly, it's, it's not sharpening or uh, anything for my writing, but it's uh, <coughs> the writings uh, ha comes to me because maybe I, I I love it and I I uh, learn from from the others writers from yeah things like that. Yeah. The most pleasurable is when you got the inspiration that went. One second you got, ah, this is a good story. That's really, really uh, something you feel happy that you got something valuable. And then uh, again, when you're writing, uh, I write it in a story and you really, really feel like, um, I don't know, something you got satisfaction in your uh, inner self. When you don't have any idea to, to write, that's the, the, the I'm suffering when I'm in that state <laughs> of situation, so I can't like uh, what to write. Yeah, that's the the the, uh, the worst. Yeah. So uh, I think this is uh, like uh, the same duty that uh, everyone have in the, in every uh, uh, professional, especially in the cultural uh, sphere, like. Uh, artists, uh, writers, musicians, and filmmakers, uh, uh, whatever, I mean, all we have uh, that things. And, um, but uh, of course, in the works itself, we kind of to uh, have that duty, but uh, in, a, in a way that you have to, to write a good one, but not in the, put the, the duty in the, in the work itself, it's becoming, um, um, complicated then, yeah. Uh, 
Yes, I think the state have to to support the literature because literature is very important to uh, uh, to build the, the nation, the nation character, because it's uh, to educate people how important the, the, the literature is and to, to campaign the, the how important literature is so people not neglect the literature, not uh, look down at uh, literature, so yeah. If I have to say one of them is a, a Good Soldier's Wake from uh, Jaroslav Hasek uh, from Czechs. Yeah. I think the book is uh, influenced me a lot because I think that's book's a very, very good uh, storytelling, the way he writes and the, the humors there, the bitter things there. So, well, it's, um, yeah, I think this. I'm really, really impressed with with that book. So maybe, maybe uh, I can say that it's also, in a way, it's it also influenced me. Uh, I mean, in my works. When I came to Iowa, and I really, really feel like uh, I'm uh, United States is very close to me as an entity but this in in this is uh, because we have uh, here like a very intensive uh, uh, relationship I mean so like uh, <coughs> interaction so it's uh, becoming very close and I'm becoming like a part of it and and especially in this program IWP because we are with the many countries so in the same time, we are close to United States and we are close to many, many countries. So this is nothing comparative. When I had, uh, arrived in Iowa, I uh, see more things uh, and it's, the, it's more influenced me to, you know, to uh, change my mind. So I have a lot of details to, to get here, so maybe uh, and I, I has already read some some like such stories about uh, what happened in Iowa. Yeah, uh, my I think the IWP program is um, nothing compared. I mean, I really really um, grateful, really uh, uh, impressed that. Uh, like I told you before, I'm here and I'm very, uh, becoming very close to the world, the United States and to many countries in a one short times.